Hello everyone! I'm back. I mean, I was never gone. Or was I? Well, I was. I was in New York. And I did a lot of mother flipping shopping in Sephora because we don't have Sephora here in Germany and Sephora doesn't ship to Germany so you can imagine what disaster that is for my poor makeup heart. Now I'm happy and I got a big Sephora bag. My baby! <laughs> like guys, I don't even know where to start. It's like so much. Okay, let's start. I'll try to like um, do it a little bit in order, like maybe start with like eyeshadow palettes, products, eye products, and then like go over to the face products. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just start with this little guy. I got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I do have the Chocolate Bar palette, and um, everyone's been raving about the peach palette as well, and it smells so nice. And mom, I gotta admit, I don't really like the smell. It's like it's, it's not even peachy to me, like the um, the Gerard Cosmetics um, setting spray in peach, that smells like peach. So intense. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna get it out so you can see it. It looks so pretty, like I, uh, mm, I'm not all about packaging, I think it's fine if the packaging is pretty, of course, but um, it's not like I'm crazy about it, but if it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I kind of get crazy as well. I, I, I'm just looking at them and getting satisfied. I don't know what it is about that, but I love the aesthetics of a beautiful eyeshadow palette. But just eyeshadow palettes. I, I don't know. Mm. It kind of smells more like these artificial flavors, like 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 some powder which you put in your water to get some peach flavored water. You know what I mean? It doesn't really smell like. No, I don't know how much it was. I think like forty dollars. But this little peach here at the back is pretty cute. You can't see it, but it's cute. Okay, next thing I got. Yes. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. I mean, I can't see what it looks like, but it gotta look cool, right? <laughs> I got four of the Huda Beauty lashes. I got Sasha. I got Samantha. I got. Farah and Scarlet. Oh. I wanted these lashes since I was born, I think. They are so beautiful. Look at Scarlet, for example. I mean, how gorgeous are these? Mm. Oh my god, look at my thumb. Looks like I stabbed someone with it. Okay, the eyeshadow palette I am most excited about. Oh. This is made by God. This is absolutely beautiful the TARDIS Pro palette I honestly could stare at that all day long like look at this beautiful piece of heaven <laughs> oh my god I've got lipstick on my teeth and I just saw it <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> anyways I, I actually don't want to use it <laughs> because it looks beautiful as it is honestly when I was in Sephora my heart was racing it was racing like the motherfucking asshole. <laughs> okay, another thing I got is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I tried it out today for the first time. I think I like it, but it's like super heavy. But also, it's, this is the thing I always wanted to get in my life since I've been in my mom's womb. <laughs> I was like, give me the Better Than Sex Mascara. And two other things for the eyes I got is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and the Tat Kat Von D Ink Liner in White. Super excited to try these out as well. Ooh. Okay, I think that was it for the eye makeup. Now we can switch over to face. First of all, I got these babies. The Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Ultra HD Foundation Stick. We're not doing HD, we're doing Ultra HD. <laughs> I've kind of got problems finding like good foundations because finding the right shade is so hard for me. 
because I'm never the same skin color. I'm always like self tanning, sometimes I'm not. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> sometimes I'm self tanning, sometimes I'm not. Yeah, I basically have a different skin color every day, so I'm mixing a lot of foundations. I'm sticking to the drugstore foundations because I can buy a lot of different shades from there. If one foundation costs like $50, of course I can't buy like three of them. Everybody's been talking about these, so I was like, okay, okay, let's do it. And I got the shade Y225 and Y315. I got like a little bit of a darker shade and a lighter shade. I've always been the type of girl that mixes foundations, so I'm gonna mix them anyway. Whoa. Another foundation I got is the Kat Von D. Lock It Foundation in the shade Medium Cool. But this one's also like such a cool thing. You can just... I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> okay, Kat Von D, I got some more of you. Actually, two other things. <laughs> what is that? It's actually a mascara. I got the Kat Von D shade in light palette, so this one looks like this. I bet you all have seen it, I bet everyone's using it already. I'm late to the party, I know. <laughs> I already used it actually for my contour today, it's like so good, especially together with this. This is actually um, the brush for the palette, like on this side you can contour it with this side you can highlight so let's put the brush back in there because it looks so fancy i also got the kat von d locket concealer in the shade l11 neutral same with the concealer as with the uh, foundations i do have to buy lighter ones and darker ones but for this one i got like a like lighter one i think <clears throat> oh my god my voice just doesn't want to do it today <clears throat> Didn't try that out yet. Um, probably gonna try that out when my skin color is a little bit lighter. Makes sense. Ah. I also got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I forgot to mention that. In the shade Y31. And the last concealer I got is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Macadamia. Which is a lighter... Uh, which is actually a darker shade which I have on today and if you know me I normally tend to highlight under my eyes like crazy like super white so I want a concealer which doesn't wash me out so much so I got this one it is a good decision I still look like bright under the eyes um, but not like white Whew, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> I thought I could do that in like 5 or 10 minutes and then I'll be done, but I'm talking for like 45 minutes now. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing I got for my skin is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Silicone free, um, I'm like kind of skeptical when I hear like silicone free because I think silicone is the stuff that fills your pores and makes it look better. I don't know, I have this one on today. I haven't really like noticed big difference but it just feels more like moisturizing cream when you apply it and it's like a little bit sticky it smells like coconut which I'm not super crazy about like mm, I've never been such a coconut fan but um I don't know let's see still trying this out whoa I also got the Too Faced um, Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in the shade Okay, <laughs> in the shade, I will always love you. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a little heart. Oh, so cute. Too Faced is like going ham on the packaging. Oh my God. So the last thing I got for my face is the Becca Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. Yes, I gotta get me some Champagne Pop. Oh my God, it's small. That is, that is so tiny. Did I get like the, like the, like the mini version of it? I mean, compare it to Jeffree Star's highlighter. Like, what is that? Oh my god. Yeah, it's small. I haven't tried it out either. It's still got the protection fall on it. 
Ah! That looks disgusting. I just ripped off the foil, which was still on there, like the protection thing. And it looks like that. Is that normal? What is going on? Okay, Becca. Just gonna put you aside. Okay, let's get to the lips. I got three Anastasia um, liquid lipsticks. Potion, Trust Issues, and Dusty Rose. Then I got another lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade Exorcism. Damn. <laughs> this is like a dark plum fall kind of color. The last liquid lipstick and actually the last thing I got is the Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick by Too Faced in the shade Queen Bee. Marvin told me to get this and um, he told me that it's like one of his ride or die shades and he loved it so much so I got it as well. Danke Marvin, a food and tip. So that was it for my huge Sephora haul or slash New York haul. Um, I didn't really get any other things than makeup because well, shit is expensive at Times Square. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I was talking a lot. I need a break. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!